Hey guys, today we're gonna do a quick uh, Zoom tutorial. For those of you who are not familiar, Zoom is a video platform uh, for conferencing that people are using these days instead of being in person for their meetings. So I'm gonna run you through how you're going to go into the program and a couple of the basic features. So the first thing that you're going to do is go to the Zoom website and you are going to sign up. You can sign up with your email, you can sign up with Facebook, or you can make your own custom one. So once you sign in, this is more so what you're going to see. It's going to say that you have a basic plan. If you decide that you need a more advanced plan or to do more than 40 minutes, you can either download and buy a higher plan or you can just have everyone come back into the chat in 40 minutes. You can go down to the bottom to download. So now we're in the download center. So you have a couple of different options. Uh, you are going to download the one that says Zoom for client meetings. So you will download that. And then whether you have a Mac or PC, you will open it and go through all of the information on the screen. So once you have the app downloaded, when you open it, it will look like this. This is the main page that when you open Zoom, it'll open up to. So you see new meeting, join, schedule, screen share. And then if you have any pre-existing meetings that are on your schedule, it will show up over here. So for our purposes, we're going to hit new meeting. So this is the main page that you're going to see. At the bottom, starting over here, you see the, where you would join with your audio. It'll automatically join with your computer audio for your laptop or whatever it is, but if you have another microphone like I do, I have this lavalier microphone, you can click the little arrow over here and pick that um, instead. When you join a chat room, it does not always turn on your video when you first enter. So if it doesn't, it'll look like this. And it'll have a line struck through it, and same with the audio. The way to turn that off is just clicking it and then you have your picture. Let's take a look at what else is on the bottom bar over here. There is an invite button. So if you wanna invite one of your contacts, you can invite your contacts that way, or you can copy the URL and then send them the URL to click on. If you receive a URL link in your email, you just need to click that so that it'll open up in Zoom. So in the Manage Participants tab, in the Manage Participants tab, you have the power to mute everyone in the chat if you're the one that's hosting it. You can unmute everyone, or you can change people's names if need be. Screen share, we're gonna come back to in a second. There's the chat option, which will create a group chat for everyone who is currently in the call. So if you have some sort of uh, link that you need to send out or message to send the person who's speaking um, on the chat, you can put it here. You can either send it to everyone or you can change it to only certain recipients. So next, there's reactions. So if you wanna give people thumbs up or claps, you can do that. Or you can actually record the Zoom meeting. So to record it, you just click record and then you, this wouldn't pop up because uh, I'm using the audio on QuickTime but it'll start recording what you are uh, watching on Zoom and it'll convert, if you look over up here, to an MP4 after the meeting ends. So lastly, we're gonna go over here to screen share. So screen share gives me the option to share different screens with the people on the call. So for instance, if I maximize this screen back up and then go back into Zoom, I have the option to show my desktop, a whiteboard, my iPhone, my iPhone again, and share that to what everyone's watching. So this would be the screen that people would see as they're watching me do things. The cool thing with screen share, if I can get back to Zoom real quick, is let me stop the share. The cool thing about screen share is if you want to only share a certain window, you can go and only share that window. If you notice, there's a green line around my Safari window now because that is the only thing 
that will be shared with the group. They won't be able to see me clicking on other things like this picture or this picture or this picture because they're only being shared the Safari window. So the last thing uh, that I'm going to show you is how to end a meeting. Uh, I think that we've covered pretty much all of the other basic topics already, but um, ending is very important. So you would just go into the corner over here and you can either leave the meeting, end the meeting for everyone, or you can cancel out if you don't actually want to end it. So since uh, this is the end, I just wanted to say thank you for watching and if you guys have any questions, put it in the comments and I will get back to you as quick as I can. Thank you so much for watching. Here at Celia Warner Productions, we're making all kinds of content about cameras, lighting, audio, and everything that goes along with the photo and video industry. Make sure to follow me on Instagram for even more tips behind the scenes and to keep up with all the different kinds of projects that we're doing. Subscribe here on YouTube so that you can learn all about the different topics that we have to speak about. And make sure to leave comments below with questions and video ideas because maybe we will make a video to teach you about what you want to know.